Hello there, and welcome back to some more Bonding Classic Rebirth. What shall we do today? Well, let's try and not die. That would be kind of nice. Um, we played a Samson last time, and that almost worked. But it didn't quite. Blue Baby, perhaps? Uh, Salsa, perhaps a little bit insane. Mm, we need to do Boss Rush with Isaac, but not so much else. Let's try Maggie. Um, we did it not too long ago. Well... I guess it is. It feels like it was actually long ago. Infamy is a great start. Infamy um, allows us to sometimes not take damage when we should. I'll take that scent. So start super slow as Maggie. I'm guessing Maggie is probably going to be one of the more annoying ones to actually complete boss rush with. Simply because she is so slow. I mean, you could argue that the main time you spend in the game, you spend killing enemies. But still, there is a significant amount of time where you just walk around. Um, maybe I'll just not blow up fires to try and save a little bit of time that way. That is very helpful. Thank you, spider. I was actually trying to make the spider blow up some of those um, the pots there, but this also works. Um, okay, well, the key is better than nothing. Uh, I'm obviously not going to play the key beggar at this point. Looks like we're on um, track for a boss fight here. If I had to guess. Um, this is actually terribly annoying. I guess I want to get rid of these knobs, maybe? A little hard for me to tell, actually. As long as these guys keep spawning stuff, it's gonna make it even more annoying. Also, our base damage is not super high as Maggie. Um, which will also be annoying. It's, it's not gonna make a big difference if we take damage here. Um, wow. What's up with this room? Why is it so bad? I might actually force myself to take a bit of damage just to make it go by quicker. Um, even though I would, of course, much rather avoid it. The thing is, we have Yamhart, so we can afford to take a bit of damage. Maybe not too much, though. Uh, shit, these people have... Or these guys have much health. People is probably not the best word to um, describe these with. Uh, spiders, you could call them. Even though they have, like, only two eyes. Normal spiders have apparently one eye in this game. Or zero eyes. And um, judging by their AI. AI! <laughs> Get it? Okay. Um, wow, could have hit me. So that's like one minute for a single room right there. And of course we come across the same kind of enemy immediately afterwards. Um, you could argue that I'm killing myself right now. You wouldn't be wrong. Um, but... The game is also killing me a little bit. So let's try... There's not gonna be a secret room here, but there's no reason not to check, I guess. Okay, there's a the health. A little bit of health back. Okay, the haunt. The haunt could also easily kill us. Haunt is annoying in particular when you have this uh, so little damage as I do right now. I forget how far we need to go actually to... Um, or which way we need to go to... Um, to unlock stuff with Maggie. If we need to go to the chest or if we need to go to the dark room. I could just go back and check. They actually fixed it so that you can go back and check at any point before you uh, get the negative in Polaroid. It's a bad play. I should never walk up here, but it just speeds the, the, the fight up so much. Unless you get killed. So let's try not to get killed. Actually, we have Infamy in this run, uh, so I would very much prefer not to die. But there's Infamy. Infamy is good. In particular against those late game bosses that, are, that tend to be very bullet heavy in nature. I guess this also kind of works. Ah, oh, I got killed. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's try that again. Now, we also know that we can go either way. Ah, Curse of the Labyrinth. Mm. It's also annoying. Or is it annoying? I think it means that we can save a key, actually, because both item rooms are open to us. So that sense is pretty good. Of course, it's also the cellar again. So we'll be once more dealing with these horrible, horrible items or horrible, horrible enemies where I would much rather just take damage to speed it up a little bit. Even though that might uh, shorten our run altogether. It's kind of what happened to me in uh, in Vanilla Isaac. Uh, whenever I died at, at sort of my at the end of my career, it would be to the first couple of floors. Because if you just survive those... Um, at least if you play like I tend to do when I get a little bit lazy. Um, you will. It will be because you have some reasonably good items. And I mean, item, Isaac is all about snowballing, really. 
want to get a few good things, so you, then you can get some even better things, and then uh, the game will be super easy eventually. It's not always the case, but I would argue that um, oh, for every run that you win, um, a good deal of them will be um, an easy win somehow. There are the runs where you just barely make it, but yeah. Ash. That this is incredible. If I happen to die again, I'll change uh, to a character which is uh, less horribly slow. Isaac, maybe? Not sure yet. Also, finding the secret room here is going to be somewhat more challenging simply because the room or the floor is going to be bigger. At least we can get to a few item rooms before we make it to. Um, Ash. That was just bad. No excuse for that one. Uh, before we make it to the the boss room, so we are one champion hit away from dying again. So let's try not to come across too many champions, and if we do, let's try not to get hit by them. Seems like it would be strats. Not sure what that guy is is doing. He's coughing. Um. Okay, I'll take it. I like to take Bob's brain when I know that I'm gonna have a bad run. Because Bob's brain is as likely to deal damage to your enemies as it's likely to deal damage to yourself. Um, but it is good when when you use it correctly. For instance, we just one shot Gluttony right there. Temperance, uh, I'll keep, a, keep it. Well, There's probably uh, a point to be made for not picking up the soul heart immediately. But I'm trying to save some time here, if possible. Uh, can I? No. I can't do anything funky. So, yeah, again, I was trying to blow this guy up close to the pods, but it didn't quite work. I'd rather not go into the shop at this point. Should probably wait and have uh, Bob's brain respawn before I move on. I'm curious if um, the respawn... Wow, that's a good chest. If the respawn rate is somehow tied together with um, your current tier rate. No, I will, in fact, go into our shop. Oh, PhD is probably the better of these two. I'll pick it up. PhD means that all of our pills are neutral or better. It actually comes with a pill. Balls of steel. It's a good pill. I guess we can actually get a um, devil room on this particular floor if we manage to not take damage. Uh, let's just quickly read, um, wind a little bit and try and see if we can find our second item room first. We are on the next floor, so yeah, there it is. Okay, that was scary. Yeah, wow, okay. That was um, tough to avoid, I would say. Again, there's a point to be made for not picking up the... Um, uh, the... what you call it? The soul hearts yet. So, um, skinny on mushroom. It's a, a huge fire upgrade, or tears upgrade, as you can tell. Also comes with a tears, or sorry, a damage downgrade, which is unfortunate, of course, but... Uh, it's what you have to live with. So many places for a... Um, for a... top secret room. And just an ordinary secret room, for that matter. So I think we could probably one-shot Famine more or less. Well, okay, three-shot maybe with Bob's Run Brain. So Bob's Run Brain is good. It's just not so good when you get charged by enemies. Or, as we saw a couple of runs ago, if you end up getting five familiars so that you actually forget that you have Bob's Run Brain. Was that a couple of runs ago, or was that one run ago? I don't know. So there's our first cube of meat. Cube of meat is also good. Happy to have it. So of course, at this point, um, Jump Heart is functionally useless. That's just how, how it always should go on a good run. You really want to be actually relying on red heart damage, so I don't mind that too much. It's just a, um, a fact. I mean, Yamhar is nice. Um, for Oh, Magic Mushroom is super good. All says upgrade. Get some health as well. Apparently counts as a stat. And onwards we go. We're even ahead of the clock. Uh, what time is it? Well, suppose we start at midnight, then it would be 4.48 at this point. Okay. Wanna watch out here. Should probably try to force this guy down here, just in case there is a secret room. Should also try not to kill him then, that's too late. Got a little bit lazy there at the end of it. Uh, let's try and blow this rock up. Actually, we have enough bombs, so we don't need to worry about this. Does Bob's explosive power come with five bombs? Is that how it works? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, devil, I imagine there would be something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll check out this room, just because sometimes it contains items. And sometimes it contains other good stuff. So let's... Well, okay, this sometimes it contains pure shit. And um, I guess I'll just use the devil card here. Get a little bit of extra damage. Essentially, um, a charge of Bugablau on this room. 
I'm not sure if it works exactly like Book of Blood. I don't know if you use Book of Blood correctly. Um, there's a better chance to get Devil Rooms. If, um, if this card works the same way, that's actually super nice. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how Book of Blood works for that purpose, though, so I can't really tell for sure. Maybe there's there's probably some way of testing it uh, if you know how Book of Blood works. Anyway, let's go back to our Timberance card. I imagine it will be useful at some point. Um, let's try not to go this way just yet. This is just an ordinary cave, right? Yeah. Wrath um, should be easy to stay away from him. There we go. Any marks? I don't see any. Oh, there's one right here, actually. I guess I'll just pick these up immediately. Make sure that we have some um, for the entirety of the floor. As always, Devil Rooms is um, where the game will be made for us. We can also use Bob's ex Explosive Thought to creatively blow up um, passages to secret rooms, stuff like that. Oh, I could easily have gotten hit by that. Can we get uh, the Explosive Thoughts over there? How did you manage to not hit anything? That's all I'm wondering. That's, no, okay. Surprising. I'll just do it myself and that's also okay. Sorry, let me just adjust my microphone a little bit here to ensure that the volume doesn't all of a sudden drop. There we go. Ha! <laughs> oh, it's not on purpose. The hitbox of these things is so weird. It's like it's stuck on one side of them. Uh, okay, another key. Fair enough. Still not really too interested in actually playing that guy. There's our boss room. So I'll go to the boss room immediately just... Um, because we have the health necessary. Oh, thankfully managed to trick that uh, guy's AI. And there goes the last one. Here we have more money. Cool stuff. Gertie should also be fairly easy. Stay away, watch out for the flies. Flies could potentially get in my way and blow up. That's a little unfortunate that Gertie didn't get poisoned from that. And I am also taking way too much damage, that much should be obvious. Hmm. Gertie's easy. Should be easy at least. Okay, so that took care of both a little bit of Gertie and the flies. Do some of the old circular touching. Try to avoid the knobs. Whoops, got a little close. There we go. Thank you Bob's explosive thoughts. Squeeze is good. It's tears up and two soul rights. And uh, we could be fighting Krampus. Would be too unlikely, but we're not. Okay. Uh, spectral spiders. Two bombs. And two pills that we know are not bad. Tears up is good. Um, where did the other one go? Balls of steel again. That's fantastic. So I might actually be uh, overcharged on, um, on soul hearts for this one. So I would say that... Well, we don't have any way of regenerating our health. We've just been very lucky with it so far. I hate this room. Uh, how do you do that? I think you should just rush out and that works, more or less. Oh, okay, that guy's clever. It would be cool if the AI changed uh, on, on, champions ty on champion types. I don't think it does. Uh, there we go. So, we don't really have enough money to go to the shop just yet, but it's pretty close. Well, it's close in the sense that one secret room... Um, okay, one of those is a library, but we don't have enough keys to check. Um, I would go to the library if I knew which one it was. Just because I don't think um, Yum Heart is going to be all that good. Sticky Babies. Oh, okay, we had that before. That's the one that uh, follows us and then slows enemies that cross its path. Um, is this possible even? Okay, I think somehow we didn't take damage from that. Probably a cube of meat uh, saved us. Time-wise, um, it's not unlikely. It's also not a given that we're going to be able to do the boss rush. Have we done boss rush with Maggie in general? Um, I don't know, actually. I wonder if the time goes down while I'm doing this. Probably is. Uh, Alright, what are we looking at? So this is catacombs. Catacombs is more difficult than caves. Try to blow these up over the gap if possible, then they don't spawn any spiders. And that's where you want to be. If uh, Bob's explosive thoughts would get out of the way, I would feel a lot heavier about this. And indeed it did. Back up to two keys. It's also where I want to be. 
I really want to get to that um, that pill actually. It's because we know it's good, and we also know um, what it is simply because we have PhD. Well, we don't know what it is, but we would figure out what it was if we were able to get over there a little close. Up here we have um, magnetic tears. Oh, <laughs> I'm not so sure I want that. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we can make use of it uh, for something. I'm scared about it more than anything else because it pulls enemies closer to us and that's not exactly uh, synergizing all that well with um, Bob's Rotten Brain, so... Hmm. It also makes some enemies simply more difficult to, to figure out. It, can, it does mean that we can get items from uh, um, across gaps. So I don't know... I don't. Th yeah, they can fly over like voids, so we can't use it for that. In fact, let's just go in here immediately. Dark one. Doesn't worry me too much. I think if I go into the arcade, I could probably um, play both my Timberance and the existing Blood Bank in there at the same time without um, losing too much health about it. So I should probably have done that a while ago. Then I could have also used... Um, my yum heart a little bit more adventurously so okay so that went down easily enough pentagram is good it's a little unfortunate that we don't get a deal with devil uh, i don't completely agree with the game on that one but so it goes um looks like item room could be in i hate this room and magnetic tears certainly doesn't make it any easier i took way too much damage from that sorry once more it's uh, my microphone here really doesn't want to help me out today. This works. Should work at least. So let's go all the way back to our um, arcade. I'm hesitant to play the entirety of the floor just because it takes a while. Even though we, we could easily make an argument that we should. Okay, there's the temperance up here, so let's see if we can play both of these at once. It seems like we can indeed. Double our chance at... Oh, that's bad. At um, getting a payout uh, with a health upgrade. There's the IV back. And there's blood bag. I think as, as soon as you're picked up, or at least just seen, um, I guess we'll play this twice. Um, playing, or as soon as you're seen, um, the IV bag, you're gonna get the blood bag guaranteed. So that's uh, free health for us. It's also a ton of money, which might even be more important to us. Um, at least now we can make it into our shop with uh, a good and clean conscience here. No way to get that. Yeah, I'm not sure about magnetic tears. It seems pretty bad. I um, guess I'll buy both of these. This makes everything cheaper. And Star Deck turns everything into tarot cards. It also gives us... Okay, only one tarot card. I thought it'd give us two, actually. I don't think we want anything else here. Which floor is this? Catacombs 2. So we will be seeing one more shop. So I'm not gonna... Well, we're gonna be seeing almost... Oh. Cool. Yeah, I'll buy run, baby. So, of course, all the pills that we now had are now um, tarot cards instead. And we have room for two tarot, or two um, tarot cards. So this, of course, synergizes extremely poorly with the PhD, I just realized. But yeah, I mean, good tarot cards are better than good pills. So even though that wasn't optimal, it just struck me afterwards that it wasn't. And maybe it's also not too bad. Also, being able to carry two... Um, being able to carry two tarot cards can be super useful in uh, in some situations. Let's put down a bomb here. Get both of those fires. Hopefully one of them contains the soul heart. Indeed it does. And on we go. So um, we're getting stronger. I'm um, I was, In the beginning I was a little um, disconcerted about this entire thing, but it's uh, it's getting much better. Okay, Satanic Bible is better than Jump Heart. It plays essentially the same role, except we can use this even when we're at full red hearts. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 this is difficult. Oh, okay. I'll buy this. I probably won't actually buy the Soul Heart. Hmm. Oh, this is difficult, really. Let's play... Oh, there's even a, a Mark Rock here. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back for this. I think this is even the way for the boss. So the thing is, Judgment is, or the Beggar is, is probably gonna pay out with um, a health upgrade. Oh. Um, which I can't really use for all that much. Oh, that's gotta be said. Could use that for a boss fight, make that a little bit easier. 
<laughs> These guys really don't know how to handle the uh, the magnetic slowness here. So let's use this once. Then let's just uh, rush our boss fight. If uh, if we do get a deal with the devil, which is um, pretty likely actually, um, then we could... Let's see, which floor is this? Devs 1. So I guess we'll just do use Empress here actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could have also saved it for later. Still made use of it. Thinking was I could slow this down or <laughs> speed this up a little bit. Things are moving way too fast for me at the point. At this point, this one spider left. Uh, it's um, synth oil. No, it's people. Okay. Right, Krampus. So hopefully we get a lump of coal just before, because I would probably prefer Satanic Bible over head of Krampus, even though it's super close. Got head of Krampus though. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure at all. I think. There should always be a payoff of um, offense uh, against defense, right? And in this particular case, I don't even know what I wanna what I wanna conclude. Um, do we want any of this even? Not really. So I guess we'll just donate. Is that how it's gonna go? So I'm not gonna make much out of my steam sale, but at least it's gonna mean that I'm gonna put a little bit more into this one. Again, you could easily argue that I should save this for the next floor, or I should put it into into the beggar instead. Logic being um, for this that we're likely gonna be fighting greed on the next floor if we go into a shop and the most likely payout from the beggar is not all that good for us. So I think this is better. In particular because for the future we want to be as strong as possible of course. And getting those shop upgrades really goes a long way and towards that. So we are actually gonna be overcharged on the satanic bible here. I wonder where all this damage came from. Is this just uh, from having uh, the pentagram from earlier? Oh! Alright, so I guess we'll be using Satanic Bible then. Cool game, cool. So yeah, magnetic tears. Does it come with a damage up as well? Otherwise it seems pretty bad. The world is actually very nice. Shows us the entire map uh, on a single floor. So it's gonna be useful after um, Necropolis where we want to make sure that we just um, and get to the boss as fast as possible because there's no longer any item rooms to um, keep us occupied. What would be really nice if uh, would be if I managed to get some kind of uh, teleportation device in terms of a tarot card. Yeah, not too surprised that I hit myself there. Again, a little bit. We got a couple of D synergies actually, but um, somewhat surprisingly, we're actually still doing pretty well. So, okay, that's one of them. Really scared about getting too close here for the same reason I'm always. So let's try not to. Do the swing step. That works. Definitely use a bomb for a tarot card. Given my plan, strength is pretty good. Makes us stronger and gives us a, a single red heart on a single room. I think if you use it at the HP crap, you're actually gonna lose a, a bit of health. And so that's something we wanna worry about. Again, could easily take damage in this room. Surprised I didn't. I guess uh, the speed ball is to really um, thank for that. Okay. Oh, this room. I'm almost tempted to use a bomb to, to blow up some of these rocks to make it a bit easier. It's probably actually the best way to go. I think it worked. I think uh, Bob's Rotten Head probably wouldn't have been able to go through there if, uh, if I didn't. So at this point I'm hesitant to actually pick up Eternal Hearts because I would much rather have Black Hearts than, than Red Hearts. But let's just do it anyway, because it also feels bad not to. Could easily be Mark Rocks in here and indeed a C1. Oh, I got hit by something. Soul Heart for the future, I guess. What's our time at? We are in a bit of a... Oh, we need to hurry up is what I'm trying to get at. For some reason, whenever I have one of these items, I simply don't understand how creep works anymore. Because I think all of it is my own creep, which is uh, it's obviously not. Even hesitate, hesitant to, to pick up... I do see a mark up there. Uh, I think there was one anyway. I'm even hesitant to um, make use of... Or sorry, pick up all the items just because it takes too long. So there's both our shop and our item room. Um, what do I want? Blank? Or is this their choices? Oh, I can't buy it. That's unfortunate. So let's just donate instead. I'm not sure what else I would really want in here. I could buy charts in the Satanic Bible. That would be pretty good. 
Um, but yeah, it's not all that good. Piercing shots is pretty nice. It's gonna make us even a little bit stronger than we already were. We have less than one minute now to, to beat moms, uh, or to beat mom. Should be possible if uh, if it's close. There it is. So what are our... Oops, didn't want to pick up that black heart actually. Ah, uh, I guess I would actually at some point. But want to use strength on the bombs... On the mom boss fight. I might have to, right? Uh, even though I'm a little bit skeptical about it. Let's pop it just to be a little bit more sure that we're gonna be able to do this in time. I uh, will keep the timer on, on, the, on the screen, even though it's a little bit uh, annoying to look at. I would have much rather saved the strength card for the um, for the boss rush, but let's do it this way. There it is. Uh, where do we need to go? Um, let's go to the chest. I'm not sure, actually. I should have gone back and checked. And let's go in here. Really, I should have gone back and checked. I really wish there was some way of seeing it on, on, on the pause screen here, but... Anyway, we need to do it all in hard mode anyway, so let's do it this way. Stigmata, I know that's a damage up. A remote detonator, I also know. Is that technology 1 or technology 2? I don't know, actually. Um, it is one of those, though. And one on the top left, I believe, is a D10, which rerolls something on the floor. I think it's trinkets, maybe? I think I'll go Stigmata, because I'm not sure I, we had it before, and we need... I mean, damage is good. Damage and HP, actually. That's really good. So it's, it's still not clear if we're actually going to be able to beat this, but it's not like... Well, I mean, <laughs> we're at the HP cap and we have a fair amount of health. Why are we spawning uh, soul hearts? Um, I don't see there is... Should, don't think there is a good reason why we should. Might just have uh, locked out and found a... Um, a mark rock there. It's a little hard to tell which of the... of the creep here is actually mine. Was that another soul heart from something? Oh, I didn't even see the heart down here. Why is it so small? <laughs> That's very silly. Is that how carrying queen always works? I'm uh, confused by many different points of uh, this run. I guess I could have just waited and not picked up the um, either not neither the Polaroid nor the um, the negative just yet, and I just go on to the steam screen and check what I need to do. Um, that would probably have been wise. Whoops, I managed to pick up a soul heart by accident. Wasted half a um, half a heart in that. That's actually a big mistake. It's, it turns into like one full heart if we manage to, to take more damage on this in this particular fight. Or it translates into that just because we don't have the uh, wafer to uh, decrease the damage that we take from enemies on future floors. Hopefully that logic makes a better sense. We certainly seem to be spawning a lot of um, um, soul hearts. Oh, I don't know why. Let's just quickly look. Do we have anything here that spawns soul hearts for us? I don't know what it should be. Hmm. It's a little weird, but I'm also not... Um, Gonna complain all that much about it. Whoops. I took damage, finally. I'm probably gonna end up getting a soul heart just because uh, of the magnetic tears. Which would be a little silly. Uh, good thing we can hit all of chat at once here. <clears throat> Same thing probably goes for Chop. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that certainly went easy enough. Piercing shots are so good. At least in this particular case. I think in... I don't think I can see a case where piercing shots are bad. One thing they do, um, that's worth mentioning, is that they do... Uh, what do they do? They do remove knockback um, on enemies. Knockback can once in a while become useful. But it can also be bad, so it's it's not even like an objective bad trade-off in that case. And anyway, I'm really happy that we're going to be able to beat the boss rush on this. It's going to make it a lot easier on future Mega Runs to figure out what to do. Oh, that's a nice jump there. Gish. Do we just <laughs> get rid of an entire wave in like five seconds there? That's great. 
These guys should also be easy with piercing shots. Yep. I guess even the mask is gonna be easy here. Uh, this is probably the worst wave. It's gonna fire a bunch of shots and hopefully something uh, something dies. Should probably get rid of the bloat first, actually. The bloat is tricky. The way you want to normally handle the bloat is uh, stand next to him, but some slightly below him. Uh, because the physics on him is completely screwed up. It's like he's lay, laying back and his, one, his shots are behind his actual body. Which is super silly, but it's very useful to know. And it doesn't work so well when you have magnetic tears, so I think I shouldn't have picked up those. But I was honestly a little bit confused when I saw the item, couldn't quite figure out what it was. So we could actually lose our eternal heart. That's uh, not completely out of the question. Even though we're getting close to the end here, I think we have two more waves to go. Um, after this one. This one's also tricky. Probably the worst uh, horse riders in uh, in the game. Horsemen, whatever they're called. Oosh! I didn't even see that. A little bit too much stuff going on at uh, once here. Uh, primarily because of, uh, again, magnetic tears making stuff fly all over the place. So war certainly seems to fly. Uh... One more, I believe. Yes. Let's get rid of the Fallen first. Because the Fallen is the most annoying part of this. I think we're actually gonna get rid of the Fallen. Oh, okay, the horse is still there. Okay, that's annoying. So we're losing a bit of health here, but that's okay. As long as we beat the boss rush, I'm happy. We're also gonna get a free item in a second. Hopefully we can go back to the Devil Room. Maggie's bow unlocked. That's great. Uh, we got Lockfoot. Lockfoot is not too bad. I don't think it does all that much for us at the moment. I think we're firing a lot faster. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Still no devil room though. Uh, any Mark rocks in here? No. And uh, no way of getting no way of getting out. So we will continue. To the womb. Get our uh, heart back. So now I'm actually kind of happy that I picked that up. Good old lumps. And we get a free a black heart from that. Cool with me. And a judgment. So we're not going to have enough money to play the judgment um, quite yet. But hopefully we, we will at some point. Uh, I think I could get these. So for once, magnetic series actually... What? Oh, maybe I should do like this instead? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Magnetism. How does it work? High Priestess. Sun is so good. Sun is so fantastic. So uh, the best cards here are Judgment I'll probably play soon enough. Sun I definitely want to take with me. And uh, World is also good. So my thinking is uh, I'll use High Priestess probably. High Priestess and Judgment on this floor. And I mean both the Sun and um, the World will show me the entire map. Which is immensely useful for the later floors. Liberty cap. Sure, why not? It gives us a random mushroom effect on uh, each room. Some of those are good and some of those are average. Not sure why we took damage there, but that's how it goes. Kind of a scary room just because there are so many things that can teleport close to you. So uh, Bob's uh, brain blew up. Which should take to mean that we must have killed something. It's so fair when they start shooting and uh, while well, they're not even on screen. I mean, they're probably thinking the same thing about us, but still, we're getting a lot of cards. Fool. I don't see a use of it at the moment. There could be some at some point. Um, okay. Go in there and get that. Get out of the way. Okay, this card. Hermit. Random teleport. It's about the same as a fool at this point. Is there anything on this room? No. I think we can make it across. A little scary, but it went all right. This room scares me as well. Again, not sure. Okay, we got hit by a bullet. We don't have anything. Oh, we do have cube of meat actually to protect us from bullets. So I seem to be fairly bad at finding my way around this floor. Which is unfortunate, taking a lot of damage. Um, I'll get that chest. It's the only way I know how. Get it all the way away from the spikes. 
And there we go. That's good. Enough keys to um, to use on the on the chest. Should we get that far? And also a little bit of money to put into judgment. Oish, I'm beginning to think that um, piercing shots is one of the best things that we got actually. It certainly has made a lot of rooms a lot easier. We do have Bob's brain ready, so should get a little bit away from Polycephalus. What an annoying enemy. Pop up, please. There we go. Any marks? I don't think so. Would also, of course, be nice to augment the uh, Satanic Bible somehow. I mean, it's, it seems like our black hearts don't get to live all that long, unfortunate. uh, unfortunately. Yeah, alright. I was thinking this must be the way. So I'm guessing this is Mr. Fred right down here. Um, so we'll use High Priestess against him. Which means that we need to get rid of the boss, the other enemies in the room first. Um, but of course we can get out afterwards, so that simplifies everything. Good. So we need to get rid of these guys first. Um, then these, and then Mr. Fred should pop up. And then pop down High Priestess, and then apparently he's just invulnerable to that. That must be a bug. Uh, it looks like our range is good enough that we can just stand back here. So yeah, I can't really justify bringing um, the judgment card with me later on. Alright, we get a Del Room. We have enough uh, health still that those are worth making use of. Range up, it's not all that useful. Alright, so what do we have here? Except for a microphone that keeps falling down. I hope it doesn't make any difference on the actual YouTube video. It shouldn't. I think this microphone picks up um, recordings or sound pretty well. Um, there we go. Apologies for that. I'm gonna pick up this just because it comes with soul hearts and it's uh, it's damage up. So effectively, we shouldn't be losing out too much on health from from picking that up, but we should be gaining a fair amount of damage. So what else do we want to do? We have at this point enough bombs and a simple enough floor that we could look for the um, secret room. So let's do that. There it is. And that battery. Battery is pretty nice. It's almost worth going to a couple of extra rooms because of that. But I don't think I will. Gave us half a black heart, essentially. And here we have Judgment, which I'll use. And of course, it's a Demon's Judgment, which is not necessarily too bad. How much health do we have lying around? There's the full one. If the other one is a half one, then that's... How does it work? I guess I'm already at a half heart state. I'm not sure about how it works, actually. So maybe I'll just put down a bomb here instead. And don't worry too much about him. Could have probably played him once more, but that's okay. And we have the correct cards. Indeed we do. So where do I want to use a world card? Do I want to use it on the cathedral or do I want to use it on um, on mom's heart? Let's give me a second again. Very uh, professional recording this one altogether. I guess we're going into this room. Although we should remember to have a um, couple of keys um, available for the chest. Anyway, we'll probably get some. Oh, Isaac's Fork is the one that gives us lifesteal, maybe? Counterfeit Penny gives us money when we pick up money. That's not very good. And Broken Magnet um, is broken. I think I'll keep uh, Liberty Cap. I kind of like that. So just zigzag here and we should be able to cheat the lasers. <laughs> kind of a scary room if you've never seen lasers before, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could easily make the case that I should um, use a world card on this floor. If it diverges too much, I might have to, but um, so now it's linear. So hopefully that makes sense. I mean, there's no reason to use the world card if you if you can just tell where to go. Yeah, this room doesn't scare me so much after the boss rush. It would have been fantastic if um, if the two key room had um, had given us trickle charge as a trinket. Load is scary as always, particularly because the room is small this time around. Um, or would trickle charge be better? 
I don't know, it, maybe it would give us one or two black hearts actually over the course of this. And in that case, um, maybe Liberty Cab is actually the better choice. Let's see, where do we need to go? I'm pretty sure we need to go over here. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Anyway, I'll use um, the world. Uh, the thing is, the sun also comes with a damage um, to all enemies in the room, as well as a full health. So you want to use that as late as possible, I guess. I mean, you want there's no reason not to make use of full health, right? Yeah, it's not actually entirely true. Um, well, I mean, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope we can see what uh, what I mean. There are situations where the health, the full health pill is, or the full health part is not necessarily the best part of it. Emperor is tricky though. Emperor is kind of like the map. Oh, thanks. I guess we should use Emperor on a more difficult floor than this one, right? So there is a re an argument to be. So there's two ways of going about this. I could simply consider Emperor as, as a full health or a full map card here and then walk back to this room and get the other cards. That would work. But then I would be going to more rooms than I need to because I could also just use the world card now. Then use the Emperor to skip uh, the entirety of the cathedral and then use the world card as late as possible essentially. Or to see the map on the chest. Um, I did pick up the Polaroid, right? And not the negative. Where do we have it? Oh yeah, there's the Polaroid. Um, so I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. So I'll use the world card now. And take the Emperor card. And move on. Kind of happy with the payout actually here. Uh, I would probably have gone in the other direction if I hadn't used the world card. So saves me from going to one room at least. Key. Can I walk over here? I guess I can. I am still taking more um, more damage than I would like. <laughs> here we have two more key or two more uh, tarot cards. That's really good. One is Timberance again. Um, I don't think I can make any clever use out of that. I didn't actually want to use it even once there. I have some health lying around, so that's okay. And the other one is two of spades, which doubles our something keys. All right. Um, yeah, we'll probably see some health at some point. We can also use a bomb, I believe, to um, skip a single room, which is probably worth it. Particularly if I end up taking as much damage as I am at the moment. Oh, there's even a um, a mark rug up here. Fantastic. Oh, placenta for free. That's HP and regenerative help. Health. Or maybe it's just regener regeneration. It is both. It doesn't give us a um, full health though, but still it's um, a nice surprise. I guess that dropped from a uh, special uh, destroyable on this floor. So I don't want to do this, I guess. Um, I want to go back for my health first. No, I'm so inclined to take, or it's so possible that I'm going to take damage on this room. Oh, okay, well, that also works. Thank you, Placenta. I don't know if it's based on time, or like if you can just wait around and then it uh, gives you health. That seems a little overpowered, if that's the case. Damn you, Bob's brain. You didn't have to actually do that. Uh, okay, so we um, seem to be dealing enough damage. It's not like um, neither the cathedral or the um, the chest is going to be a complete walkover, but we're strong enough that I'm not too concerned yet. And we unlock you, baby, for doing this in hard mode. All right, so we want to go to the cathedral, but first of all, it's just to regenerate our health. Maybe we can figure out how placenta works in uh, in the process. Some extra free money. So the scary thing is we do need to beat um, Isaac in six tries. That's not actually true. We can always use the um, uh, the sun card if we come and if we run into trouble. But I would much rather save the sun card for um, for the chest. I guess I should also look for top secret rooms maybe. 
I go. Let's go by my old um, strategy, which has uh, still to be, which is still to be fine-tuned completely, and assume that the top secret room is likely to be close to the boss fight. Um. So that would be up here. Could also be in the next room, maybe. Let's try that one. No, it couldn't actually be in here. Okay, so then I don't quite know where it is. Oh, this is a little scary. Okay, game. Let's uh, head up here. Why are we so big? Just because of all the damage upgrades we got gotten over the course of this? Cathedral. Let's do it. Maggie versus Isaac. Why are we on this side? That's also a little strange. Don't we normally spawn on the left side of him? I will probably go over to the left side. That was a mistake. It's just because it feels so strange to be on the right side. So, Bob's brain, please do something. That's good. We're still alive here, definitely. I think we're dealing more damage to him than the other way around. Depending on how you count damage. That was a little unfortunate. So I just have to make sure that I don't... Um, die. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> is what my uh, line of thought there would boil down to if I had actually continued with it. Ah, oh, I hate this thing. I know that there is some way to tell. But I don't know what it is. I think this time... I guessed right at least. If at some point I'm gonna guess right every single time, it's because I figured out how it works. I think I figured out how it works again. Alright, sun card. It's necessary here, unfortunately, just because we could easily end up dying. I expected the sun card to deal a little bit more damage to Isaac, but that's how it goes. So we have um, definitely enough keys to go to the chest as well. I mean, it's not like it requires any keys, but it's certainly a lot easier if you get any. So... What's this thing? Monster Slung. Oh! Haha! <laughs> That's really weird with magnetic here. I'm not even sure it's good. Uh, let's try and figure out the timing. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, that's... Pa no. Can I remember this? Something with thorns. Taurus, maybe? Taurus, yes. Taurus is really good because our speed is actually pretty good. Um, flush. I never figured out what that does. But it's probably not better in Satanic Bible. And Fat Out Mushroom. It's just a damage up. It's also a tears down. I imagine our damage must be pretty cool at the moment. Unfortunately, our range kind of got lowered by having Monster's Tongue. Which means that we need to get closer. Um, why did we get an HP upgrade? I'm not sure. All right, onwards we go. Let's get rid of uh, rid, rid, or get rid of this guy first, just because he's the most scary. Okay. So, all right, and Taurus is in effect. So happy to see that it only takes a few seconds for it to actually charge. But I'm not so happy to see that um, the magnetism on our tears uh, does what it does. What? How are you supposed to do that? So I guess I need to make sure that I get out of the way first. Oh, shit. Um, Simran's give me something good. A little bit of health, that's okay. And I think we're dead, unfortunately. I talked at some point, I think, during uh, this video about how you just... Uh, how you always either win or lose. And it's always clear which one it's gonna be. In this one, um, I'm proving myself wrong. So happily, um, the magnetic tears don't seem to do all that much to Mega Fatty. Which is strange since he uh, himself has magnetic powers. Might just be polar opposites no matter which way we're turning here though. Which seems a little strange to me. Okay, so happy to two-shot those guys, that's fantastic. Of course, um, monsters, or sorry, um, Bob's um, rotten thoughts played a role in that as well. So... Oh, why can we see the map? Did we get a compass at some point? No, we didn't. I don't know why we can see the map. How does this work? Do we get health over this, like, arbitrarily? Every time a minute passes? Hmm. I don't actually know what's going on. If so, I should just, like, um, put the video on pause and... <laughs> and just wait it out, right? Play around with my phone a little bit instead. So, we took some very stupid damage here. That's a little bit unfortunate. 
So I'll have it to keep an eye on the timer to see if that is indeed how it works. If every time a minute passes, we get some health. If so, that's super dumb uh, from a purely gameplay mechanic perspective. And you can probably see why. Let's uh, check for secret rooms. There we go. Greed? Yeah. I expected that. Gives us a ton of money that we can't really use for anything unless we come across a... Um, a uh, beggar. The mat... Well, we can no longer see the, the boss. That's weird. It's Gertie. And it's a Gertie that doesn't um, shoot at you. He just spawns enemies. So it's easy Gertie. At least in this case. Get some more health. Okay, so a minute passed. Did we get any health? I didn't notice. I will test out that... Um, that hypothesis. And the way I'm going to do that is by fast-forwarding the video. Which requires me to look up how my, uh, my my video editing software works because that's something I've never actually done before. And so see you on the other side of that. It works. It freaking works. What a hilariously bad item. You, I mean... <laughs> it forces you to wait around in rooms. I'm not, maybe it only triggers once every time you take damage. I don't know. We got the Emperor card, though. Um, let's do this. We no longer have the Sun card, but um, we need to just take less damage than we took against Isaac. And we do have uh, a lot of uh, items to help us out here. So it should be possible, in theory, at least. Oh, our magnetism, does that work while we're charging our shot? If so, that's super scary. Uh, Blue Baby certainly doesn't know what to do with himself. It's taking a lot of damage. Yes, we did it. Unlocked uh, Celtic Cross for um, beating Blue Baby with uh, Maggie. So I don't mind dying, really. So I'm gonna... Um, Pass around the floor a little bit, see if I can unlock some cool stuff. And uh, maybe just find some items. In general, this room is over, we don't need Taurus. Um, and <laughs> this is very silly. And um, in general, just Taurus to see if we can... Um, yeah, I mean, pick up some stuff. Maybe get super powerful. One thing that's required to actually beat the game is to pick up every single item. And the only way you can do that... Well, one efficient way of doing that is by playing on a floor where you get items for free the entire time. Let's get rid of this one blow first. Do a little bit of damage to the other one. I'm not sure how he managed to hit me on that. So, I mean, we could easily just die in a few rooms, but I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with that either. We found our secret room already. Um, two dark ones shouldn't be too much of a problem, unless they are, like, <laughs> incontrollably difficult to um, control when, they, when we use um, magnetic tears. All right, that works. And we get bottle of pills. Does that give us a tarot card then? It does. <laughs> That's a little weird. So I guess I could just stand around and um, and uh, regenerate health the entire time. Maybe I should check if it actually works that way. Um, I'm not going to though, because that's terribly boring. I'll just use the tarot card here immediately and then probably it will um, coincide with Taurus in a second. Is that how it works? Cage is, uh, Cage is tricky compared to so many other bosses. Particularly when he does that. So I guess we just didn't get Taurus in this room. That's uh, a little sad. Particularly because it seems like Taurus maybe lasts longer than the Terry card. Might just be me though. Tower is um, scary. It spawns bombs all over the place. Bombs steal damage to me. Ugh, okay. So I'm probably gonna die in this room. Uh, well, okay, I, I'm probably not, actually. Uh, so now we have Mr. Mega Taurus, or Mr. Mega Tower card. And that's one way to go out in style. So maybe we'll do that. Still don't quite know what Flush does. Oh yeah, if we could get um, Dad's key so we could get into the... Um, I'm probably dead. If we could get, it, get that key and get into the Mega Saiyan boss fight, that would also be really cool. But I don't think that's happening. Whoops, watch out. 
Hey, we get to live a little bit longer. Maybe we can actually clear the chest here. Or maybe not, though. <laughs> okay, we're dead. Uh, that was fun while it lasted. Um, let's go back and check that everything looks at it as it should. Indeed it does. Four new red things on the mega chart. Happy to see that happening. Um, it, it does ruin our win streak doing it this way, but I don't mind. I just need to unlock stuff, get some chiefs. Oh, that was pretty fun. Um, we were underpowered for a long time, but then it's slowly turned around by just getting some very good tarot cards. So I think this goes to show that even though we had PhD, uh, the starter deck did some really good job, uh, some really good work for us um, over the course of the entire run. Uh, at least if we need to learn one thing from that thing, um, that would be it. So for now, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you some other time.